So we're gearing up. Everything is getting prepared for the big pour. So all the guys are gearing up. We got our concrete boots. You always want to make sure you got your concrete boots, which is right here. Yep. Nate's got them. Ben has got them. And then also what we do a little bit different, we make sure everybody has camelbacks. Main reason why is um, you're not going to be able to stop during a pour. You have to keep going. And so basically you always got to make sure that you guys got are hydrated. I don't even know where mine is. There it is. Boom. Hydrated. You get these on uh, Amazon. They're pretty cool. So if you see, we also number them as well. So Nate doesn't lose them. He's 003. Then we also have, we put whistles on it too, just because if something's going on, so emergency happens or non-emergency, somebody just takes a whistle, blows on it, you're good to go. And we're about to do concrete pour now. Could you try again? Perfect. Oh, anyway, we got all the food ready as well. Everything's getting prepared. And we got the guy for the pump coming right now he's the pump guy and he came in early so it's perfect timing all right so i'm going to be documenting the process of what we're going to be doing in real time and uh yeah we'll take it from there so basically what are the steps for a concrete pour obviously you got to frame out you know usually you got to get an architect involved to frame out what's the area that you actually want to um finalize i guess or you know pour see if you can get it approved once it's approved and we got buckets that just fell with a brush to get that situated because we're also staining this fence. We did a modern fence here. And then this area is all going to be where the concrete pour is. So you get your rebar right here. Our string lines right there just basically allows us to level everything out for the, for the concrete. We're getting everything prepared for it. And it's going to be a long night. So I'm going to document this entire process. Thanks, guys, for your journey. And then, um, yeah, we'll just take it from there. All right. I'll talk to you guys. All right, bye. Yeah, and there's the guys right now just preparing. All right, so we got the concrete pump right here. Everybody's getting prepared. We just got to move this stuff out the way. Concrete just arrived. So time starts now, right at 1130. So we got every 45 minutes, we got to time it. So every 45 minutes, we're gonna have another concrete guy here. So we're putting on the timer right now. You guys are seeing this. Putting it for 45 minutes. Starting now. So there's the concrete. We gotta get this. He's coming through. He's gonna unhook. And then we're gonna get that pump ready. And then he's gonna be pouring in. And then we're just going from there. Perfect. So this is how he's getting the concrete, concrete pump ready. Uh -huh. Uh, Nate, go grab the cones. Cones. How many cones? How many cones? Grab three minimum. If you can't find it, just bring what you can. If you can't find it, just bring what you can. All right, so we're coning off the road as well. All right, so what's going on? Um, I'm having I'm having him back up right here. I'm gonna put the MOT cones around him. That way the motion of traffic can go around. Okay. And then he's gonna back up, he's gonna pump, and that's it. up a little bit now. I don't wanna have to move later. He got me leaning into the slab. Oh, you're doing it in the Go slab. ahead, just back it up a little bit. We wanna move this out of the way for him? Yeah, get that bucket. All right, so he's getting the pump. Big boy machine right there. All right, here we go. Concrete is pumping right now. Get it ready. And here comes the pour. Coming out now. And we're gonna start spreading it a little bit. He's getting it all ready. All right, so right now what we're doing, if you see that's our string to get everything level. And then he's gonna start spreading it when we right when we get to our level because it's about it's a four inch pour. So getting everything ready right there. Start spreading everything out. I'll 
keep on documenting everything and put it all together. All right, so right now, um, we're basically making a board to flatten everything out. So these lines is the four inch mark. So while he's doing the pull, we're smoothing everything out. So if you can see, that's where the lines are. You can barely see it. Right there. That's our four inches. So we got to make sure everything's flat during this pour because it's a really big pour. Um, then we got Nate getting everything smoothed over. See, we don't want to cut any of these lines. Uh, next time, I think what we may do as well, make sure that we get fishing line that holds better than rope because rope still has the potential of snapping. Hey, Nate, your gloves. Nate is holding this real quick. Still getting all the pour done. Screwing everything in just so we can get everything in order. And we've got concrete guys. Yes, sir. Andrew, what you learning right now? What are you learning right now? It's heavy. <laughs> so it's basically the concrete flowing through there, pouring all the way out. We're just going line by line by line by line. There's nine different sections. There's eight sections right through here. And then we got another section for the sidewalks. Miguel, what is this right here? What are we doing? This is our trainer. This is what we gotta keep our level from side to side. Got it. Oh, so you're doing it from one side to the other. To the other side. Bring it all the way in. Got it. So this is what about 30 feet then? 32. 32 feet. 32 feet. <laughs> All right, everybody's got camelbacks as well with water. Perfect, so doing the best that we can, improvising, make it happen. And that's getting everything over here, we're streaming out. It's definitely gonna need way more people next time as well. We're definitely learning some serious lessons on this one. Wet and you gotta finish, pour smooth. On the sides, the nails gotta be done right. We're getting a concrete fan right now. Okay, perfect. This is free throttle. Throttle here? Yep. Okay. On and off with. On and off, yep. got it. And it's already on there. Got it. So, choke. Perfect. Perfect. That's it. That's it. Alright, perfect. And then just gliding it on. Yep. That's and it. This is this is for the blades. That's to bring up the blades or bring down the blades? Bring them up. Got it, got it, got it. Okay. Regular fuel as well? Yeah, straight here. Perfect. All right, that's all we need. All right, so we are, we got the 36 inch, um, what was that? I think it's called pull behind concrete trawl. So what that does is smooths out the, um, Moves out of the concrete whenever you're laying down a pad. So we've been doing that all morning. You can't tell, knocking stuff out, making it happen. So that thing is a blessing. They do not sell those at Home Depot though, only at uh, Sunbuilt, which they had available. And uh, if you don't have a contractor account, you can just say you're doing a DIY uh, project and they'll hook you up immediately. So, make it happen. Follow the journey of a military veteran that turned to an investor that now is turning into a real estate developer and doing his best to learn every aspect of the business um, so that, um, you know, no trades can say that, you know, they kind of hold you hostage when it comes to pricing and labor. And so, I've got a journey of just... I want to learn every aspect of the business of construction so I can be the best developer possible. And uh, you guys are along for the ride. So thank you so much. All right. We got Andrew with the longest pole in the world here. Getting all the finish work done. And Edwin, what did you do over here? Uh, I did some, some steps over here. About six of them. Dyed the concrete orange, edge it up a little bit. You know, nice. A little bit of, little bit of work.
That looks good. Real good. Thank you. Thank you. Getting it done. All right. It is seven ish clock. They're taking self leveling, getting everything white as snow. <coughs> Nate, how you feeling? That's, that's, a, that's a thumbs up right there. Look, that's the thumbs up face right there. That's it. That's it. That's, that's Miguel's. Uh, that's Miguel's whitey tighties right there. The whitey tighty. There's uh, Cyrus with the epic hair. Andrew. Guys getting it done. Benny with the sunglasses looking cool at night. We're getting it done. It's looking great. It's looking great. Smoothing everything out on the concrete. Yeah, smoothing out. What do you want Nate doing? We got one more bag, that's it. All right, so it's 11 o'clock at night, still on the site. Got to get it done. We have to get this. So it is it is what it is when it comes to lateness when you're dealing with a concrete foundation. Nate, how are you feeling right now? <laughs> Next level. Next level tired. So tired, look at you. <laughs> mm-hmm. What's a couple things that you've learned so far? Never lay a thin pickle, pickleball court. No. <laughs> Without enough people. <laughs> mm. That's very true. Always playing ahead. Mm-hmm. Very true. Have the proper equipment and as well. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, we definitely have learned a lot, I would say. And it's from where it could have been to where it is now is God. Exactly. Like, like complete God for real, for real. In that beginning, we, I didn't think we were gonna get it. No, I didn't either. I was. I, didn't think we were get it. I just knew. I thought I felt like the girl was like, yeah, we not gonna get yeah. it. Yeah. Miguel wasn't even feeling me. I was like, oh, man. After Miguel was doing that, and then not only Miguel, but you know what hit me? What? Was um, the guy who's the concrete pump guy? Yeah. Oh, yeah. He yeah, was even yeah, like, yeah, he was like, yeah, y'all, y'all. He's like, like <laughs> we have a private conversation. We'll stop. All right, so it is midnight. Still knocking this stuff out. It's a big pour. 60 feet, 60 feet long, 30 feet wide, technically almost two pads. Throwing the concrete in those little slots. Getting it done. It's looking fantastic. Next time we'll definitely rent two of those machines. Go buy twice as fast. And buy a bigger tarp, that's the other thing too. All right, so it is almost two o'clock in the morning. We're still here at the site. 
when it comes down to concrete, it is no joke. Definitely, we're going to be using two of those machines next time. Um, guys are doing amazing. Been here since uh, seven o'clock this morning. So almost a full 24 hours um, of working non-stop to get this thing done. Definitely um, going to redo my math when it comes down to what it takes to do concrete work and how to speed it up. Because really it's all about the finished work and getting everything complete on the finished work. So if you had two or three or four of those machines, it'll go literally half the time. So if you had two of those machines, it'll cut it in half. So instead of two o'clock in the morning that you're finished, you'll be done, let's say 10 o'clock. If you have three of those machines earlier, four of those machines earlier. So definitely planning it better for the next time will be done. Um, but this is a definitely amazing lesson. Super proud of the guys and everything that they're doing. It's just amazing. Really, really humbling to see the crew just killing it. It's three o'clock in the morning. We're still going. Getting everything done. Putting tarp over it, so just in case it rains, it rain. Putting some rocks on it, make sure it's heavy.